How's it going, everyone? My name is Philip Ribbon, and welcome back to Disco Elysium. Last episode, not much. <laughs> not much to note, to be completely frank with you. Uh, what are you doing, Harry? Stop this. <laughs> it is too early for this kind of shenanigan. Uh, this kind of shenanigan. Too early for me to be speaking <laughs> as well. Kim? You, you awake? Nah. This is not Kim's room. All right, that's her room. Um, last episode. Nothing much to note. <laughs> kind of just talked to an old lady because dipshit wasn't home again. And, uh, what's going on here? Uh, you m people seem to be- Good morning. Good morning to you as well. You seem to be from the RCM. You really seem yeah. like you want to talk to me. Uh, no? No? Don't, don't want to talk to me, huh? Something seems odd. <laughs> Hello, what are you doing here? The woman in an RCM patrol officer's uniform. Winces as she notices you. <laughs> Does she I now? I would really prefer not to talk to you right now. That's really interesting. Why the not? The officer <laughs> is the lowest rank in the RCM. Oh. Below lieutenant and sergeant. What about detective? <laughs> How about that one? Uh, hold on. You're a patrol officer of the RCM? I'm on a murder investigation. Are you the cavalry? Is everything all right? Why do you want to talk to me? Uh, you the cavalry? I'm definitely not the cavalry. Well, why don't you want to talk to me? I don't know. I mean, uh, she's still avoiding why would your games. I want to talk to you? Have I wronged you? I've done that to a lot of people. It's cool to see another cop. I thought Kim and I were the only ones. <laughs> I'm a deeply flawed individual, but I bring joy to the world with my music. Uh, let's just do this by the book, okay? Why? I bring <laughs> I bring word of the end to come. Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. I thought me and Kim, we were the only cops in the world. You're not. You're not the only cop in the world. She shakes her head and breathes out. Okay, fine. Let's talk. Yeah. What did you want? Mm. Um. What does one talk about with a fellow officer? Uh, what precinct are you from? You're the police, right? Cool. So am I. <laughs> this is what cops talk about. Uh, what precinct are you from? What precinct? She just sighs. Fucking deranged lunatic. What? The sunglass-wearing man pushes through his teeth. You're getting an intellectually unsatisfying vibe from this conversation. Oh. Maybe you're hmm. doing something wrong. I... I kind of reckon... Can I see what? your face again? Fucking deranged lunatic. What are you doing, Captain? Is, isn't this my captain of the precinct? I'm, I'm fairly certain he is. Unsatisfying okay, go by. <laughs> go by. I feel like I'm, like, s ruining a sting or something right now. And they're all pissed at me. It's fine. It's fine. Um, hey, Gart. How you doing today? Can I help you? Uh, about my bill for tonight. Uh, then not yet. Why are you wasting my... <laughs> why are you wasting my time? Maybe I just wanted to talk to you to see how you were doing this morning. Fruit for thought, you big fat dickhead. This is why you have no friends and Sylvie left. Hello. <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you. Right. Why are you wasting your time? Uh, she crosses her arms. Well, maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> don't, this is what I studied law for? I don't know, man. You tell me. You're out here. <laughs> I'm not making your decisions for you, am I? All right. What do we have to do today? Ask the little girl in the fishing village down the coast what she knows. What day is it today? Classic Harry. Doesn't know what day it is. What? What? I mean, it simply must be Wednesday. It simply must be Wednesday. <laughs> it was Tuesday yesterday. It has to be Wednesday. This is how days work. I in case you weren't, uh, you know, uh, up to speed on that. Uh, talk to Clage about the Door Gunner Megamix. That's right. That's right. Her I gotta find my heraldic bird still. Okay, that's all stuff to do down, down in the town. Run the number on the victim's armor. Okay, so I can call back and for... Armor, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that right now, actually, because I mean, I got nothing else to do except go down to the bridge, it seems like, and talk to Claudia, which I can do after this. I want to know where the rest of the pieces of the armor are, damn it. Hello, Kim's car. It's been a while. It's been a while Inside, since I played this game. Yeah, and levers, a radio microphone, uh, a pull out toolbox, and yes. the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I don't even know why I listen to you. It's, I think it's because you have such a like commanding voice. I, I've heard all of this before, and it's not <laughs> worth anything. Uh, but I got a draw to play this game again, because my best friend told me that he got it, and I'm like, 
You, my friend. <laughs> you have good taste. I didn't even tell him to get it. <laughs> he just got it. It's fucking incredible. Uh, tap on the fuel preheater gauge. Run your fingers over one of the steering levels. Why am I even reading this? Read it. Radio. How may I assist uh -huh. you? Uh, find out more about the owner of the armor boots. Sorry, sir. I still haven't heard back from the database. Team. Well, then that's all I need to know, and shut up. <laughs> Everyone says too much in this world. I'm actually curious. Is there, like, a thing in the options to turn off the narrator? Oh, yeah, there is. Everything except narration. Wait. Everything except narration will be... Oh, I actually kind of like that. Oh, hold on. Hold on, maybe psychological is a, is a little better. To get to read a bit more. Uh, but I'll be reading, like, a lot, huh? And I do like the narrator's voice. I just don't like, like, you know, how the stupid, <laughs> like, you know, how, how the stupid things get things to say as well, over and over and over again. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll turn on psychological. We will see. Yes? But, no, not you, Kim. There. Herbal ball. Working class drunk. You know what this means, right? Irish. I'm just kidding! Uh, <laughs> case solved! All in a good day's work. Wait, uh, what did I crack exactly? What do you mean, what did I crack? <laughs> Look at how working class that drunk is. It's her husband! The missing husband! It's the future leader of proletarian uprising! It's, um, Diogenes? No. Stop goofing around, recruit. The leader of the proletarian uprising! No, it's not. The husband? The missing husband? Her her missing? Yes. I don't, mm. And you found him. Mm. Now go and tell the working class woman. Protect and serve, recruit. <laughs> this doesn't add up. I'm only making a fool of myself. Do marriages make any sense? Does honor? You're not a filthy philosopher. You're an officer of law. It's time to ace this case and not brood over your reputation. We can do with the perception management later. Authority. I'm so sorry. But I'm afraid I am a Phil officer. Not honorable. <laughs> Not honorable <at> <laughs> Sit and spin. <laughs> Sit and spin, authority. I'm the authority. <laughs> How can authority have authority over me? Bullshit. Greets you with its graffito, bullet holes, and an RCM sticker. Uh, drop the white envelope into the mailbox. It fucking squeeze me. Oh, white envelope. A white envelope with a stamp attached to the upper right corner. Handed to you by Everett Claire. Inside are some illegal documents. <laughs> well, that would be quite the twist Identity now, wouldn't it? I have no intention of doing graffiti. this forever. Right. I mean, I feel and like... An RCM sticker. Ah! There's no good... No one, nobody here is good. Nobody here is someone I want to root for. I don't want to do Everard's dirty work, but I don't want to help Wild Pines. So I feel like I should help Everard a little bit, because, you know, I'd rather help the Union, but also, fuck that guy. He's totally just going to landlord the shit out of him. Just give me a minute. The dented yellow... Bye-bye, envelope. ...inside the envelope still lack the required signatures. That's okay. It's going to be that easy. We need to dirty our hands <laughs> oh. with the signatures. I he looks around. That's the goal here. Yeah. I, I know, Kim. I just thought it would be funny to just drop it in the thing. I, I didn't know it was actually something I had to do at some point. They don't know me. No one knows me. Yeah, I get it, man. Nobody knows. Uh, oh, hi, lady. <laughs> that's right. That's the lady I randomly hugged. And, you know, she actually appreciated it and didn't call the other police, which... I would have, you know, totally respected and understood oh, this guy. All right. I don't even know why I bothered. I don't even know why I bothered. Let's go talk to Clage already. Hey, Clage, I have something to talk to you about. It is a mega... I don't know why it's called the Door Gunner Mega Mix. Don't ask me. <laughs> don't ask me at all, because I don't know. It, it's kind of just a weird, almost pseudo-confession to conspiracy. Uh, can... Why is that even a thing? Hello, officer. Hello. What Sorry, I'm still learning so much. <laughs> Uh, her legs crossed. She leans back against the railing. Uh, need to talk about your room. So-called assault. Look her in the eye. Uh, shit. Uh, Titus Hardy gave us a recording where the deceased stated his intentions to commit rape. Uh, maybe not come out of the gun with that. Mm, talk about your room. Yeah. Uh, where's that door lead to? You tell me, officer, when you've kicked it down. Okay. I've been wondering myself, but I'm light of foot. Me too. All right. All right. I have the best boots in the world, but sometime, somehow, can't 
bust open a door. Uh, let's talk about the so-called assault. Not my favorite topic, but okay. Uh -huh. Uh, or you, I refuse to say that. Uh, what can you tell me about him? I think we know a pretty good amount about him. All right, recording. She puts her coffee cup down with a soft ring as the porcelain oh, meets so the metal table. Less like that, more like. If you could hear that. <laughs> Did he? A smile flits across her face. I never he was face. a good man, or that he had good intentions. No. Only that he was never bad to me. And I agree. This is not a stretch. She doesn't care. If yep. anything, she sounds amused. Great. I hate her. <laughs> On this tape, he specifically identifies you as the target. Mm, where did <clears throat> they get this recording exactly? Good question. It's intercepted radio chatter of the deceased. Oh, recorded that's right. Via I remember. The encryption station. It's authentic enough. Yes, indeed. Does he say he's gonna do it Soldier of the Apocalypse style? You know, I uh, I do recall. Those are the exact words yeah. he used. <laughs> that was practically his pickup line. Are you serious? She picks the cup back Did up. Did he say whores a lot? Back. Was he pretty much on the verge of doing it Kohoi style? <sighs> Koi Hoi was mentioned. He wasn't actually there. <laughs> he didn't do a tour, or at least didn't tell me he did. Would well, maybe he didn't tell you everything in the world, Club. He lived his own little Kohoi. It wasn't his everything. Uh... Why say things like that, machismo? Do you think he was trying to scare people? No. I'm pretty sure he did all those things. And then had to internalize them to keep on living. Until they okay. just... Sort of turn into his, um... She thinks. What's the word I'm looking for? Persona? Running joke. I was gonna say uh. running joke. And it sounds like you didn't even get the good bits. Lely's punchlines got way, way funkier than that. Okay, Clashé. You know, it sounds hilarious. It sounds so funny. <laughs> I hate both Kohar of you. Massacre and the 36 famine in Yezut all rolled into one person, then cast in Orani ceramic armor, which he wore in bed and in the shower. Interesting, but he didn't serve in any, in any of those. So in, in, in what way is he like that? Because I'm sure you could find people who in fact did serve in all of those things. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. W weren't you afraid? Y you like this kind of stuff? And you spent time with this person. Romantically. You like this kind of stuff? We're all scraping up any happiness we can find, officer. Okay. Going around with our little scouring sticks. You. Your first love. Mr. Kohoi here. Not arguing Did that. Did he tell you he had actually done any of those things? He and Martinez, I mean. There we go. No. Something of substance. We were too busy laying waste to our own nervous systems to direct any of the fury outward. Cool. He seemed... She thinks. He seemed happy, I guess. At ease. As much as a man like him could be. All right. There was a small measure of pride in her that she could quell the rage in such a being. I can fix Thank him. <laughs> Miss, whenever you're he turns to you. I'm interested to hear what Titus Hardy has to say now. Are you? Because I feel like this is just an endless back and forth of completely worthless information. But you know what? Let's go. Let's go. I mean, shit. We, I think we have gotten to the bottom of it, Kim. It was fake. They got nothing. Uh, I mean, they are soldiers. I mean, it would be nice to ID him a bit more now, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, let's keep going. So now I gotta talk to Titus about the door gunner mega mix. Titus sounds like a freaking disease. Hey, hepatitis. Yeah. Look at it's me do my dance. Again. He acknowledges what? you gruffly. Uh, you know. You know how it be, gotta wait for you to walk up. Talk to Clage about Damn. the tape. Says nothing. Stands by what she, er, and nothing. She stands by what she said. I'll get back to you. She stands by what she that said. fucking fucker. He stares at his You're beer for two seconds, intently, then turns to you. I gave you gold on that tape. Dog, I can't just like. What do you want me to do? Like you killed him, so what do you want? Like you want you want you want me to take the dead guy to court? What uh, what do you want from that me? That fucker wasn't aimed at you. It I was know. at her. Oh my god, rhetoric! Why do I have you around to point out the obvious? Gold. It's just locker room talk. It's not evidence. It's dark stuff. It didn't prove anything. It didn't change her mind. Yeah, it was bad. I expected it to have more effect. She pretty much laughed it off, Titus. Fucking fuckity fucker. He what did she say then? That is fine. 
People are supposed to be like that. It didn't come as a surprise to her. And she definitely wasn't scared. Actually, I think it made her a little nostalgic. If anything, she seemed turned on by the whole door gunning thing. Nostalgia. Yes. In fact, I think she's... The lieutenant looks at you and funny. him. Yeah. Funny. Titus Mothers. Oh, good Just... goddamn psycho whore. All wow. Right. <laughs> All fucking righty then. I <laughs> guess it's good then. That what? Fucking... What's good? Please try to control yourself in the presence of visitors, Titus. Her voice is a bit softer than earlier. This is just perfect. Just yeah, it is. fucking perfect. Brilliant, I'd say. On this, lawman? Titus rubs his chin with his palm, as if trying to grind it smooth. You don't uh -huh. have to say everything out loud. Just make a match. Thank you. Maybe she isn't who you thought she was. Maybe she's still in denial. You know, like a defense mechanism. Be straight with me, Titus. What really happened? Maybe she isn't who she, you thought she was. Nah. I know her. She looks just upstairs, good. distracted. In over her head. You don't know. She's a model. She won a pageant. She's not some helpless girl. Handled a mercenary well enough. She's a hardcore party girl with a bigger death wish than mine. I guess you do know her then. Handled the Merc well Handled enough. him. He boxed. She got into some stupid shit with that guy. Shit we had to take care of. You want to enlighten me a yes, little bit? Yes, yes. We heard all about it, and the fact oh. still stands. You were more disturbed by the tape than her. Yep. Uh, well. Alright, what happened? You. We fucking he put his giant you. face in his hands and sighs. There's less yeah. gusto in his voice now. His men, too, are growing increasingly silent. The yep. man is because they're fucked. <laughs> Looks like a bad blood sugar crash. He oh. can't keep track of all the variables anymore. Ran out of ram, Luca, bitch. It's getting harder and harder to perform <laughs> one's part in this sordid play. A All it trip. takes is a nudge. Come on, Titus. We know you didn't hang him. He was shot. I know you're tired. Taps on his note. So am I. Why don't you just... You know what? I am tired. Just closer. I'm tired of you and the whore upstairs. You know, you did kill me quite a few times. <laughs> time I don't know. See Tell her. Titus said. Fuck off! He throws his beer can down! Lion scamming. We're done. This is over. You understand? Your little investigation is over! Oh, I don't think that's exclusively true. Yeah. <laughs> There's a silence in the room. Elaine starts saying something, then thinks best not On to. On the floor, beer drips out of the can into a small puddle. No one does anything about it. You lost, Titus. I'm what sorry. is this quiet funeral shit? All we need is some beers in us. You are tender. Twenty beers for the dock workers union. Great. Why do we make it forty, huh? The man shouts from behind beers? the counter. You're not loud enough. A yeah. hundred beers? Now <laughs> we're talking. Hop and hop over up. here, cafeteria manager. All right. Convince Titus he's being manipulated. Holy shit. I'll be right back. Gotta wait for him to sit down. And now, oh my lord. <laughs> I have to get this. Convince him you're being manipulated. Convince Titus. <laughs> he's being manipulated. You uh, should know by now. Titus yeah. Hardy will never falter. That's it then. Case closed. Going home, Kim. One of his boys Just will. remember, it's about more than Clasia. It's about these men and Martinez. Their district. Their responsibility. Right. Mm hmm. All right. We're going home, Kim. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant raises his brow. He'll get it. Go on. Mm -hmm. Write it down, Kim. And Martin A's, they just kill you because they don't like you. Got it. Kill Takes out his notebook. Because they don't like you. All because. Because of some chick. Because you're a foreigner. Because you work for the wrong people. Because they like killing. Oh, God. What'll get to them the most? Shit. Shit, fuck. Shit, fuck. Shit fucking ass shit shit cock. Probably sexism, right? That'll that'll get that'll get Titus and his fragile masculinity, right? One more time. A wince. And you it's won't involuntary. Get to write that report. I yes, did it! I understand, <laughs> Alain. That's your name, right? Alain? You'll kill us. That's what they do in the wild north. Yep. They just hang you, like in the dark ages. 
Like display of your corpse. And they just hang you, shoot you, whatever. They can't even remember. They just hang you, shoot you, light you on fire. They don't even, they don't care. <laughs> they can't even remember. It wasn't that. It wasn't. The fat man says we with a wheeze. We didn't shoot him. Oh, really? That's it. That's <laughs> the weak one. Get hands in the fucking air, fat Angus. Now go in for the kill. Officer, oh. you will be next if you don't shut up. Oh, the old man reaches for his belt. But his voice is strangely calm. Firearm. A glass zero eight oh, oh, shit. or a thirty-eight caliber pistol. Either is small enough for you to have missed. All He's right. onto you. He knows what you're trying to do. Well, fuck you, Theo. Steal yourself. Push Yes. Him. Just ignore yes. Theo. Turn to Angus. Or what? You're gonna kill me like you killed him? For no fucking reason? What happens if I keep talking? You're gonna be kill me too? In this bar? For nothing? Angus. We Angus! Didn't kill him! We didn't even hang him. He was dead when... <laughs> <laughs> he takes a breath, wheezing. Shut up, Angus. He was dead before you hanged him? Fatty! The little guy hits Angus on the back of the head. Cops and I'll... Dennis. What? Stand Titus down, roars. Or I'll beat your head in. Theo, take your hand off the belt. This isn't 31. I've got huh? this under control. That's right, Theo. You're an old man. Shut up. <laughs> The room falls quiet. So quiet, you can hear Angus wheeze. Angie, where's your goddamn inhaler? Angie? You sound Angus? like you're dying. Okay. I left it home. I can't get it. I'm too <laughs> fucked. He grabs his chest. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Is he gonna die in this goddamn bar Why right now? Why are you so fucking fat, Angus? <laughs> now it's all pointless. Because of you. You wasted my time. I Why told you, you Titus. So fat? I told she you to, to give him. her up. Lizzie, you He turns I'll to the fixer. You here. Go tell Everard. Fine. Oh. I'll tell him. After a long walk along the coast. She walks off without looking back. Damn. I fucked what you people. between these two? Yeah. I, I was asking the exact same question, You're suggestion. It. He's all yours. <laughs> Questions. Sorry I made you guys fight. Kim. We did it. That... So you didn't kill him. He was already dead. So who killed the Merc then? Any leads? Not yet. Just some ideas. She says the shot came from outside, behind the window somewhere. So that's a clue. What I'm are you thinking? thinking? Someone's past caught up with them. Either hers or his. Okay. Hers, you mean? She's yeah. got one of those checkered okay. pasts. The shot could have missed. Could have been meant for her. Right. I like that. Been thinking the same thing. The young guy nods. And you had ideas about his past, too. I do. One of those mercenary buddies of his could have done it. They got guns. Sure. Training. Years of bad blood, probably. Or Maybe. It could have been someone else from Cronell. He pauses to think. Tell you what I'd do. Check out the coast for vantage points. Maybe consult with a ballistics buddy of mine. That's what I'd do if I wasn't too busy doing this clown dance with you. Okay, I can't believe you still have the nerve to be a piece He's of shit right now. <laughs> threw all that turmoil away and became himself again. Great. All right. Well, whose idea was it to hang him anyway? Hers. In a manner of speaking. What do you mean? He had help from another girl. It was her idea. So many to girls. Him, and I liked it for political reasons. It sent a good message. It's her, isn't it? The drug trafficker. The missing eighth party. Fella, you think the big guy much. steps towards you. He's off all right. You're gonna hurt your head. <sighs> a little too far there. But you're definitely right. I know. That's why it's so frustrating, suggestion. That woman is just affiliated with the Hardy Boys. You don't know her anyway. You know, it's okay for there to be a Hardy girl, Titus. <laughs> Understood. Can you tell me anything about her? Name? Location? It's okay to have a hardy girl, Titus. We're hardy boys. And <laughs> that's it. Uh, name? Location? Nope. You're not getting to her. It's Klausia you want Wait. to talk to. Okay. So you didn't kill him, he was already he dead. Nuts. You Great. hanged the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. The bullet in his head. Another right. nod. 
Cause Why? the girls asked mm-hmm. us to. They were in some shit. Girls plural? There's yeah. another girl. This is what I was saying. Two <laughs> of them. Two of Take them. note of this. They'll probably say more about her later. <laughs> As a gamer, I am appalled. Two women in my game? Did she kill him? <laughs> Cop, uh, I have no idea. The girl says she didn't. What? What happened Sunday night? Last year came down. She seemed really out of it. Drugged up, even more than usual. Bug-eyed and gurning, you know? Not in a fun uh-huh. way. Okay. It looked like she'd redosed after something went down. I've seen that look before. She was scared. I knew someone had died. Well, how did you know? I've done this job for ten years. I've seen it oh before. My God. It's the politician in the motel room with the dead hooker scenario. Only right. in reverse. I see. Good analogy, boss. <laughs> the rat face man does that. You don't get to talk yet, Chinky. Chinky. Still he points at him. And you keep taking it easy too, Angus. He turns back to you. That's okay with the fat man. Still wheeze in there. He couldn't speak if he wanted to. Thanks, Endurance. What happened then? Went upstairs. Sure as day, the Merc was dead. And there was a bullet hole through the window. That fucking. Scratches Dirty his sheets and bottles everywhere. Hmm. He means Curious. they've been fucking. Dibs patched. You already knew that. And the corpse. We hanged. Hmm. Okay. If Claudia didn't kill him, why the cover up? You may have noticed our girl in some shit of her own. I didn't notice anything. What kind of shit are we talking they about? can't show up on police radar kind. There are people after her. From the old, old world. Where she um. came from. The old, old world. These people. Who are They're they? They're powerful. Connected to the moral in turn. Oh, She's shit. clearly afraid for her life. Says if she showed up in your systems, she'd be ghosted away. That's fucked. That's all he <laughs> knows. That's all she's told him. Okay. Why would you help someone like that? By taking on a murder? Why would I? I guess we have tried all sorts of runaways and losers here. It's a Martinez thing. Just a Martinez thing. No worries. Take that at face value, cops, please. All right. Uh, Tibbs is not, in fact, the eighth party. I'm going to look like an idiot, but here we yeah, go. He's my brother. He's in right. the window replacement business. Fantastic. Yeah. We did it. The lieutenant gives a smile. Only you can see. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you for this, Titus. I'll go talk to her for the last you time. Do that. Thank God. Hey, cop. Before you go, oh yeah, she, you look Claudia, up. came to Martinez to hide. Many of us did. Just this went through is where this. You wash up when there's nowhere left to go. The union takes ah. you in. Now she refused that protection, but you would still prefer if we didn't take her away. That's right. If we didn't take care of the people who end up here, this place would just be a couple of ruins and some cargo containers. Okay. We'll take that into account. The lieutenant slides his notebook into his coat pocket. He turns to leave. Uh, so, so am I am I supposed to like be like, ah oh, man, poor Titus. Poor crime family. Poor guys. Poor mafia. Yeah. <laughs> Darn, if we arrested every Mafia man, there would be no more Mafia left. What then? What precedent would we set then? Hmm. I get it, okay? I get it, Titus. The thing is, you are not any less corrupt than the capitalists, so why do I like you? Why am I supposed to have any empathy for you and your gang of shitlords? Fuck all of you, God damn it. Or don't take away my best friend or whatever the fuck is the point of this. We take care of our own. Question mark. Even when they're not our own. Because this is Brooklyn, pal. And we take care of people out here. It's like, shut the fuck up, Titus. It's always good to see you. Is it, though? She's tired. Consigned to her fate. To be Wait. here with you and what's <laughs> to come. Fantastic. Well, can you tell me more about the deceased? Hardy Boys told us what really happened. I understand. She puts her coffee mug on the table. Mm. You sent us on a runaround. Chill. I'm cool cop, remember? You sent us on a I runaround. Know. Let's be real. For what it's worth. She looks I'm down for sorry. a moment. 
for all of this, for wasting your time. Are you really, though? This is good. Clear yeah. the air first, between you two. Then move on to questions. I'm free to do that, is it? but... Something is off here. See, this, Shush, yes, I agree. I can't hear what she's saying. Fucking Why rhetoric. did you waste our time, then? Because yeah. of the Hardys. I couldn't just dispense with them. They were only trying to help me. She looks at her feet. Out of the shit I'd gotten into. Oh, wow. Is she Poor Clage. The, the Hardy boys are not the law. We I are. That. But the people around here, they don't see it that way. And if okay. I am to stay here, I need to get along with them. That's not a good enough reason. I'm satisfied with this explanation. That's not a good enough reason. They literally said they'll protect you anyway. anyway. There's more. Oh, more. You answer to the coalition government, and by extension, the moral intern. She reaches for a new cigarette. Briefly glancing over her shoulder to the sea, as she's done time and time <laughs> again. Uh -huh. A grand expanse of water reaches over the bay and to the right. horizon. Gray and pale violet in the morning light. What lies beyond the it? The pale, the windy Isola, the Occident, oh. and then Aranje, the old, old world. Cool. Is that why you're looking over your shoulder? You're afraid of the moral intern? The RCM's involvement with the or moral intern got to... What? You know what I was trying to say. The RCM isn't the lapdog of the moral intern. You don't have to worry. Yeah. So you're afraid of the moral intern? You share a database with them. She nods. You send people to their courts. She lights the cigarette. What's going on? What did you do? It's business. But bad business for some people in the moral intern. If oh. I show up in your records, officer, they will find me. They will... So are you the eighth hardy boy or not? I can't fucking tell. What happens if they do? She goes to, like, the shadow they prison or whatever. Me, sir. If oh. you file my name... That's much worse. Take me in for questioning... Enter me into the moral intern mill. Oh. Well, then I'm fucked. There's a winced and a pain smile. This murder didn't have anything to do with me. What did you have to do to have these people after you? What happened here? The night he died. Why'd you call the cops if you're hiding? Well, when was the window changed? What happened here? The night he died. We were there. He points to the window. Together. Silhouette of the bed is visible. In bed, I mean. Tell me exactly what happened. Okay. She takes deep breath. I turned no. back to him. No. She breathes out. His eyes out. were looking through me, and his mouth was open. Dumb. Uh -huh. I could see. Uh -huh. I could. Her yes. chest rises and falls with each word. She keeps herself together and says it. Uh -huh. I knew he was dead before he fell down on top of me. Then what happened? He was heavy. <laughs> I pushed him off, and he fell to the floor. There. She points through the window. He only had his boots on. I bit the pillow, not to scream, then ran uh -huh. downstairs. There was a long pause. She just stands there, her arms at her side. I waited for the second shot to come. For me. I thought there would be one. It never came. Interesting. She's okay. forgotten about her cigarette. The butt has burned right down to her fingernails. That's a motherfucker. <laughs> We're gonna need more details. She looks down with a wince. Her cigarette has singed her fingers. <laughs> she throws it away and immediately proceeds to light another one. Nicely what done. What was this? When did it happen? It would help us if you could be as precise as possible. Please. Eleven thirty to twelve fifteen. I don't know the exact time. Around midnight. Okay. It's okay. Were you in Ebrie? Makes a note. Not as much as usual. He'd done a line. Plus other things. I was drinking. Okay. Wait. Titus said she was gurning her jaw off much yeah. more than usual. Titus said you looked pretty high. Oh, yeah. She tilts her head. I did one of his lines just to clear my head. Okay. Did you hear or see the shooter in the course of this? No. Lying son of a bitch. I don't trust you at all. What did you do then? I was trapped. I was stuck in my room downstairs. I got some clothes on and crawled back up, drew the blinds. Blood was coming from his mouth. Not a lot. Just a little. What a shame. He was still on the floor, slouched. I couldn't be there with him anymore. 
So I ran down and out of my room, into the hallway, down the stairs. I knew there would be people there. Fantastic. Uh, who the fuck is Lely? What? She gathers the last vestiges of her strength. Insanity. Get myself cornered like this. There's a silence. You wouldn't have died if it weren't for me. I know that. Oh. But I would oh. never hurt him. That's the perp. You okay. <laughs> Didn't know that. A murder. Or not the perp. Maybe the other thing. Jealousy. Vic. Perhaps. I don't, I, I don't think so. Um, I'd like you to I'm answer quite. some other questions, please. She waits, her light brown eyes wandering over the floor. Did you hear a gunshot? When he was shot? She thinks. I may have. I don't know. I right. couldn't hear anything over the glass exploding. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. When was the window changed? Last week. Angus and Titus's brother. Right. I think he's called Tibbs. Took care well, of it. Why does it... Seems familiar. Tibbs. She takes a drag. You should have another look at that window after this. Reconstruct okay. the scene. It's Thanks, right visual there. calculus. All right. Uh, in her bedroom? Inside? Yes. You see the okay. glass sparkling out of the corner of your eye. Great. All right. Uh, what did you do to have these people it's after not you? not nice, but it's not illegal. Not here in Ravishol. Or even in Orania. Okay. What, what is it? What exactly did you do? Yeah, let's stop beating around Industrial the bush like an asshole. Spinage. I joined okay. a business collective with the intention of betraying them. I did my job well enough to be asked to do it again. Okay. With a bigger company. The kind you really, really don't fuck with. I took their ledgers. Two decades worth of accounting. Cool. I need the names of the companies involved and who hired you. Oh, he taps on his notebook. The job was Lou's doing County Savings Bank. They sound small, but they're part of the Lou Scott conglomerate. That was the second okay. job. The first was some printer company. You wouldn't know them. Cool. Interesting. As to who hired me Art for degree. the job, I don't know. But they're after me too. Along with Lou Scop and their friends in the MI. Mm. She breathes Since out. Since you're done in the competitive intelligence circuit, you don't have allies. You're radioactive. Okay. Lowe's cap. I understand These that. people engineer financial disasters in second world countries. The conglomerate also includes the Bank of Consecration, Airberg, and the popular Papalolo line of dairy products. Papalolo! Well, I'm sure there are people who have done much worse than that. Serves them right. When I'm king, the savings bank will be the first against the wall! You're right. This is bad. You destroyed what people have built. It's a lot of shit you've gotten yourself into. I'm the king! This is not a joke. <laughs> Real people lost their jobs. Uh -huh. Not just in the C -C -C either. Builder. Okay. Good people. What I did to get to accounting. She shakes her head at the thought. Oh, what I did in the hole in the corporate world. It was awful. It's almost as bad as Kim being a literal Air Force pilot killing people in a war, Clage. Your life. You need this, right? You gotta have this escape. I. A lot of people so got much. hurt. But that's just Cheeky more of my shit you shouldn't have to deal with. Right. You're solving a murder. We have, I absolutely am. I don't actually know why I have to ask you all these fucking questions before I can stop talking to you. I would have done it ages ago. So what happened after you ran downstairs? Silly was tending the bar. A lot uh -huh. of people she were looks there. Down. The Hardys were at the table in front of the stage. I think the union box was full. Right. Ruby was there too. They were having such a good time. She pauses. I sat down and they all welcomed me. I didn't even have to say anything. Ruby knew something was wrong. Okay. Ruby? Yeah. Before we continue, who the hell is Ruby? Ruby? You know, the leader. It's the lawyer. The leader? It? Of what? The of Hardy what? Boys. She says as if it's self evident. I thought Hardy was the leader of the Hardy well, Boys. Nominally, yes. Ruby's yeah. the one they go to when things happen, like. Things they need taken care of. She's the organizer. This Ruby, in her phrasing, is entrusted with great power. She trusts her. So do the others. Right. Would you say she is the eighth? He looks Hardy at you. Boy? Why not? Okay, let's go on. What well, then? Ruby said, let's talk upstairs. I showed her the room. 
I've known these people since December. They know my situation. But I can't leave a paper trail. Ruby was the first one I told. Okay. She said she'd take care of this. It's what she does, you know. Take care of things. I helped her get the body to the bathroom. We used a belt to pull him up under the shower. To keep him upright. Okay. To produce lividity. Matching a hanging? Yes. Aren't you guys so smart? I mean, we're straight out of Death Note, We Plaget. completely <laughs> missed the tempering. Looks like you got there in time. What was this, 20 minutes after death? Uh -huh. About 20, yes. Ruby explained it would make the blood... You know what he does. She looks at the ground and raises her light brown eyes to meet yours. Then what did you do? Ruby eh? went outside to talk to Titus and the boys. I was just looking at Lely in the Sorry. bathroom. I had to put his clothes back on. His armor, too. It was tough, but I've seen him take it off and put it on many times. Yeah. Yeah. Do you recognize any parts today? It took Ruby maybe half an hour to come back with Titus. I'd gotten him ready by then. He carried him out. I knew what they were going to do. Make it look like a hanging. Ruby said they would. Okay. Well, what did you do while they were Ruby hanging him? said to wait here. She also said I wouldn't see her for a while. That we should lay low or something. So I did. This Ruby. Where's Ruby now? I don't know. I haven't seen her since. Gotta talk to Titus really again. Like all I've done all day today is talk to Titus and fucking clash. I, I think we're she good. nods silently. She doesn't even smoke. Just picks up the cold coffee and holds it in her hands. I love your commitment to suffering, um, Clage. Lieutenant glances at you. And the he's door. He's thinking, are we done here? Or, or maybe or, you should take her to the station for safekeeping. She lied to you. And she's a flight risk. No, that won't be necessary. Just leave her alone. She's been through enough. She doesn't need this police brutality. Multiface, I'm beginning to doubt your judgment. Are you yep. sure you're not sleeping on Multi -face. the bus? You have to wake this one up with force if you want to continue pushing her. In God's name, wake up! Uh... Uh... Man... <laughs> I do not feel confident, but fuck it. We can retry it. But we are awake, sire. She has been forthcoming with sordid details women usually conceal. Most shocking details of the sexual kind. We are a bulwark, unbreached. You're an idiot. Get a hold of You're a dummy. Just once, will you? <laughs> Try to look past the sexually lax morals and do some police work. Literally, drama. What are so you doing here? Say, but give us one example of deceit. Just one example. All right, just a proposition. Could the lurid explicitness conceal something less sensational, but more illegal? Who is this personhood picking these seditious options? Can't you see the detective grows weary of your malcontent? Eh. Stop staring at her eyes and say something pertinent to the case. This is making you look like an amateur. It looks like right. this one's not waking up. You'll have to do it without pushing her further. At least for now. Alright, let's return to the later. Bye, Clanche. I hate you and your stupid face, and you're dumb, and you're dumb. And you're a big dumb dummy. Also, I hate this. I think I hate magnesium based life form. I mean, I get plus two volition, which is actually quite nice, but I don't know why it does that. It always goes back to Ace's Low for some godforsaken reason when I go to Solution. Uh. Magnesium-based life form. Problem. There we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just have, like, a really big, uh... <laughs> logic, like, spill happening here. I mean, when my thoughts... When this last thought is done, I'm the, I'll have minus one less, but... Man, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks ass. And I feel like magnesium-based life form is helping me quite a lot with the volu volition, but... Uh... It's actually probably pretty good because I, I don't have a very high volition or like volition capacity man I'm a dumbass I, I'm a dumbass playing this game it's fine it's fine we'll figure it out so like you want to arrest her yes. Kim is that okay you you, you fuck you fuck uh look at the window, window I guess we could do that as well on the inside Unlike amazing the one next what happened here Golden light melts fuck away yes. into the blue, glassy darkness of your mind. 
In it Sick. are two neon lit shapes, a man and a woman on the single bed. Holy hell. You are suggesting from that far away, Harry? That's far as fuck. Okay. What position are like they in? The witness said, the man is kneeling. The woman right. is on her back. It's the night right. of March 4th and a shot has just been fired. Fantastic. The man looks directly at the woman. The shot's possible directions converge in his mouth. A ray cast from somewhere outside, entering his brain. Curious. Ending him. Yeah, uh, yes, endurance. Thank you so much. Where does it from come the from? the roof outside, location A prime. The glass fractures around the bullet hole, shards face inwards like a corona behind the woman's back. Hmm. Inspect the ghostly figures. The man does not know the bullet has entered his brain. He never will. Death right. comes faster than the realization. Couldn't ask for anything more, am I right, man? Have a look at point A, the roof. The ray cast from the man's mouth unravels into a fan of possible directions, all on the roof at first. The shot could have come from any of them. This is composite location A prime, most likely of the origin points. Really? Really? Shouldn't there be gun residue? Uh, so I'm, what, 80% sure the roof is where the shot was made 72%, from? 72%. With a weapon that's good for medium range, like a rifle or sports pistol. This is a good short distance, but not too short. The perpetrator aimed with their back against the railing, or possibly kneeling for precision. This would explain why it only took them one shot. Yeah, and I, I guess Clage just being a fucking dirty idiot liar or blind dumb motherfucker. What, didn't see someone standing on the roof? Shooting through their the window? Were on in here. Outside it was dark. It was like shooting fish in an aquarium. A well-lit aquarium. The victim opened his mouth to let the bullet in. Neither of them would have seen anything outside in the darkness. Too busy with their own bodies. Understandable. What about afterwards? Uh, could the shot have come from inside the room? A closer point? Are there any arguments against A Prime? The roof? Uh, could there have been another point of origin? Further away? Aren't these not the None same? that you've found thus far. But that okay. doesn't mean there aren't any. Further away? That's a 28%. Yes. In this model, the shot could have come from a greater distance. Nothing excludes the possibility. Should we extrapolate to include every possible point of origin in Martinez? Yep, extrapolate the radius to include all of Martinez! According to your map of the district, this shot could have come from a wide angle of locations, starting with the northern edge of the abandoned boardwalk, ending with an islet in the bay. Let's call them B prime. Okay. B prime for boardwalk, B double prime for land's end and B triple prime for the islet detective. There may be smaller points in between, but those are too fine to zoom in on. Okay. Listen, visual calculus, I love it or not. Would it not just be easier to say B1, B2, B3? I, I, I mean, I, mm, have a look at board B prime, the boardwalk. 700 meters away, the likeliest of these B positions, 20% chance. A skilled sniper could have made the shot, provided he had a safe sniper's nest. Even with the light on inside, we're talking military training. At that distance, the perpetrator would have had to take wind direction into account. Get yeah, uh, B double prime, please. Land's end. 1.2 kilometers away. The least likely of these positions. Let's say yeah. 3%. A truly skilled sniper could have done it. Possibly from a tent. No. Too far-fetched. Well, what about the islet? One kilometer away. An unlikely point of origin. Beyond the docks somewhere. On an islet in the Bay of Martinez, perhaps. There are islets there. Badly charted as they may be. The okay. shot would have been a small miracle. Five percent likelihood. There is an extremely narrow field of view from the bay to the window. Between Rue de saint Gislaine 10 and 33A. The angle would have been extreme, and access to the islets is questionable. I don't know why. That one's screaming at me. It's screaming like the right one. Uh, Kim, do you think the shot could have come from further than the roof? 
in Martin. From where precisely? Let's say the boardwalk lands in or trip or triple the islet. I see you have given this a lot of thought. Are those remarked, locations raising an eyebrow in addition to the roof? And what is the likelihood, in your opinion, that it came from a further distance? It's okay, much less than from the roof, but still. Okay, well, we should see if there is gunshot residue or sniper nests if we go down the coast. Rule these spots out one by one. Fuck yeah, methodical as hell, dog. It would be the diligent thing to do. Until exactly. then, personally, I'm going with the roof version. A simple Fine. hypothesis can be wrong, but it's something to build on. Fair enough. Blink. Hello. <laughs> Off I go. <laughs> Very nice window. That was actually super fun. <laughs> I liked looking at the, the maps and stuff. Looking at the the strings and the places and where could he shoot him. All right. So what do we got? Uh, please. <laughs> please. Make Titus give up Ruby's location. All right. And check the places for places. Great. All right. Well, let's also go repair the water lock real quick. I'm just running back and forth. I mean, Dickhole and Titus all day today. I don't want to fucking talk to Titus anymore. I'm taking talking to Titus. I fucking hate him. Water lock, water lock, oh, water, water lock. You know, how am I going to make money? <laughs> I, I, I haven't actually thought about that much at all. Can I sell clothes to Dingus over here? That'd be very good. Oh, Mr. Fungus, can Everything I sell you clothes? Still cool here. No. No, I cannot. Yeah, I kind of want those sneakers, goddammit. But no, I already have the best shoes in the world. I always forget about this. I always forget about my literal best shoes in the goddamn world. Hello, pawn man. You won't want my dirty shirts. Hello. Other people. I'm sure you're doing something. Prepare. A rusting control panel with loose wire. Pull the lever. You grab the handle and pull the lever up. As soon uh. as the metal connects against the contact pins, you hear a loud clunk. Then, yes. the water then. lock starts moving. Fantastic. Incredible. Incredible job. <laughs> I love it. Clicks together like a motherfucking motherfucker. <laughs> okay, if we ever need to get to the coast, okay. this is the way. But please, contain right. your wanderlust for now. I don't want us to get sidetracked, not with everything that's going on. Focus yeah. on that. Achieve it. Right. Then the mm -hmm. next, he thinks, that's the task chain. The task chain. We all know it. We've all seen it. I, I smoked DMT last night, and I saw the task chain clear as day. Bye, task chain. And goodbye. Wanderlust time. The radio relay hums with electricity. Fantastic. Very good. I am so sick of fucking Titus. <laughs> I am so sick of tar talking to Titus and his stupid bullshit and his dumbass and Clage and who cares? Who cares? I mean, I care, but fuck this. <laughs> Traffic beyond the gate. Or abandoned motor lorries, right? Sunglasses! Jamrock Biker Cop sunglasses. Is that what I said? It is. Minus one lo more fucking logic minusing? I think I just- I just cannot afford that. I, I cannot afford such things. I mean, if I- if I have this little logic, my god. I'm gonna be running on sheer authority and rhetoric. And that is one way to get to fascism. Alright, what do we got here? The sign says no entry. Someone scribbled an inverted star on it. Well, what am I? Uh, repelled by inverted stars? What the fuck, Henry? <laughs> Climb the fence, you big baby. Whatever. Let's go down here. I think we can do that. Yes, we can. A breaker box to power the radio pylon above you. Maybe there's something inside. Let's look. Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Ninety cents. What the fuck, ass? It's here to power the radio relay. Here's ninety cents. What do we got ahead? Decades-old concrete defenses. Children play on them now. That's pretty sick. Wish I was a kid. Playing on concrete jacks. You know what I'm saying? A lot more entertaining than normal jacks. Boo. A creaking ahead. Broken axle grinding. Nice. Let's not go towards any progress. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do in games. I joke. I joke. I return to the progress. Alright, it is what I do in games, but still. I should probably go to the progress. What do we got here? Some... Ba banged up fuel canisters, eh? Damn. Yeah, got a, got a car crash here. Uh, not looking good, Jim. The lies half submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking bush, eh? into the Insulindian Ocean. Only the cabin top, rear bush. wheels, and the engine remain visible. It right. must be cold and lonely down there in the icy water. 
Oh, poor Gar. The seawater has already stopped me so metal much. Okay. Remember the tire tracks in Martinez? This is uh -huh. where they were leading. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck was the significance of that? They busted open the gate. Okay, well this is where the tracks in the plaza were it leading to. to be so. The lieutenant has a peculiar look in his eyes as he inspects the wreckage. Alright, let's I investigate. Think. We should lieutenant definitely replies. investigate. You Let's get a sudden, sinking feeling. Stomach acid uh -huh. comes up as you look at the motor carriage in the deep, dark, cold water. Inland Empire, why? why? The doom and gloom? It's yeah. just a sunken motor carriage. Some motor carriages are bound to end up in the sea. Sure. <laughs> Run your hand over the cold metal. What is the make of this MC? Can I see a logo? Uh, how long has it been here? What should we do? Run it over the cold metal. The motor carriage is properly stuck in the ice. Getting it out would require a team of specialists. What, ice specialists? <laughs> a day in the salty seawater would ruin most vehicles, but this one looks worn even in places the salt water hasn't touched it. Great. All right, what should we do? Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. Well, how long will it take for the low tide to come I in? I don't know. An hour or two tops? Well, I'm going to sit on the swing and wait for the tide to recede. I'm mad at you, game. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Rusty playground. The world around you becomes very silent. Sick. The hinges creak under your weight. Dangerously so. Sounds about Nothing right. Nothing but the sound of seagulls high above in the sky, echoing like distant laughter. Ice cracks around the blue motor carriage in the sea. Whistle a tune. The Fuck tube yeah. ellipse forms a strange yet undeniably beautiful contrast with the surrounding bleakness. Sick. The lieutenant gives you a quick glance, then, still looking straight ahead, he joins you with a higher pitched and slightly more melodic trill. Are we becoming best friends in this one moment on the swing? Two birds on a wire, whistling <laughs> by the seaside, looking at the water and the sunken car. That's us. <laughs> the clouds pass in the sky, and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour hand on a timepiece. Thirty minutes have passed. Sick. Looks like this. <laughs> Your might grandma take a is while. now in the shadows. Time to present a good topic for discussion. So, was your dad also, you know? That's a quick way to ruin a good time. <laughs> the tide sure is taking its sweet time. Did you rather sit on an ant hill or, uh, for an hour or stand in a river of well, leeches? Historically, Lieutenant rubs his have been used to prevent and even cure many ailments. Right, that is complete quackery. Okay, he's thinking. I can do this. Let's do this. Who'd want to sit on an ant hill? There are no therapeutic benefits to. Well, uh, napalm ants, for example, are used in some rites of passage rituals. Are they? Clouds on the horizon grow darker, and the shadow of the swing set keeps climbing. You hear the distant rumble of the city. Thirty minutes pass. Sick, it's been an hour. Damn it. <laughs> if you have to side with either the striker or the shipping company, who do you choose? Luckily, I am already a member of an independent organization, and therefore uh... do not have to choose between a rock and a hot place. You're insufferable, Kim. It's a thought experiment. All right, uh, but if someone puts a gun to your head, I guess that's your way of saying you'd side with the company. I understand. You're saying you're w with the union. Uh, gun to your head. Your voice echoes on the water, strange and out of place in the I'm environment. I'm so angry right now. <laughs> Thirty more minutes pass. You make out the marquee now. Is that a number on the side? Yes, Forty-one. What do you think it stands for? It's as if he knows what it stands for but wants you to say it. It's pedagogical. Uh, <laughs> so he's my teacher. Uh, 41 is his, is his rank in the underground street racing hierarchy. Small fish, this one. Uh, 41, huh? The street racer is quite the ladies' man. This must be Tommy 41, the morning host of FM 41. Looks like the factory made a mistake and accidentally called this one Capri 41. This one Capri 41. I don't know. I hate guessing. District something? A precinct? Something you municipal? Getting a horrible headache. Oh god, no. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> precinct 41. 
I, a massive pit opens up in your yeah, stomach. It's my and car. The most terrible feeling comes over you. It's my car. You feel like you're about to faint and fall my off car. the swing. Your I hands get clammy and the air tastes sour to breathe. This guy. No. Just nope. Say no to this, Harry. Oh my god. No. Yes, no. your car is in the sea. Face it, so we can start dealing with this. No. I mean, seriously, it's it's just a coincidence. The lieutenant just shakes his head. I drove my car into the sea! Okay, so, yes. It looks like you started in front of the whirling, jumped over the canal, and then drove your vehicle in the sea right here. Great. You know, it sounds like fun. It sounds great. Maybe I was in pursuit of someone. Well, how do we get it out? I can still fix it. They're not gonna take me back after this, are they? Badge. The gun. Now this! Things were going so well. Just whistling merrily! Whistle. Besides, okay. the night is the says with a smile. before the dawn. Cool. Awesome. Well, they're not gonna want me back though, People are they? are more valuable than machines. Training trying to cheer you up now. Is even more costly. Great. Well, at least I can see what's in there now. Great. I mean, it's not gonna be my gun. Because the kid has my yes. gun. It's not gonna be my badge. This uh, fucking dirty ever. I think he knows where my badge is. Fuckhead. Wait, what do we got here? What's, th what's that? What's that on the ground? A bottle drained of all its booze. It's frozen to the tide. Great. A familiar, a familiar face. <laughs> As I live and breathe. Oh yeah. The ice just off the coast crackles. Shifting. Sick. So sick. Mm, this place looks beautiful. I mean, it's a little dirty, you know, but pretty pretty. Oh, dog. A freaking commander's jacket. And was that my badge I just saw? RCM, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Dubois. A police uh, badge. Oh. Don't you see the photo of a man? You. Some seeds Sick. stuck to the back. I found my badge! Something good came out of all this. Lieutenant glances at the badge in your hands. Study the badge. Encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street. Right, 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 right. A right. photo, a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue, and in the lower right corner, <laughs> your precinct. Uh, rank. Lieutenant to Jaffer. Lieutenant W. Freighter. What is a Lieutenant W. Freighter? The Lieutenant is a rank above Sergeant and below Captain. It's the highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I am a Lieutenant. And W. Freighter? The title of Y. Freighter is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher rank. In your case, Captain. You have declined twice, thus your W. Freighter. Decline. There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precincts, the contage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors out of respect. And sometimes they just prefer the he type continues. of police work available to their current rank. In your case, lieutenant. Okay. Hmm. What's the decomptage? So sorry. The hierarchy so sorry. is decomptage. by the decomptage. militias. It means counting down to twos. Okay. The countdown is modeled after the dual leadership system employed by the left during the revolution, which in turn was developed by last century experimental psychologists in the University of Königstein. Thanks, University of Königstein. You studied, you know, Roman politics and the learned nothing. The rank is junior officer, usually teenagers. Then there are the patrol officers. That's then a little sergeants, upsetting. And then a captain. That's basically it, except for a few kings. What kings? kings? like satellite officers and the additionally a freighter rank I already explained. I see. The long and short of it is, you're his superior. This is what I was trying to get to the root to here. <laughs> see, you've been putting up with all my bullshit because I'm your superior. No, I've been putting up with you because despite an unconventional approach, you are doing good police work. Thank you. It matters more than driving your motor carriage into the sea. The smile's encouraging. On your bed. Sick. He trusts you for now. Try yeah. not to spoil it. Okay, I won't. Turn back Such to the document. A small yet precious thing. Uh, put my badge away. I don't need to care about that right now. I'll look into it later, but I'm glad I have it. God, I look handsome. You look fucking awful, Harry. Like, oh my god, fucking terrible. You looked so good. What happened, man? 
<laughs> what the hell happened? Go! Spirit of Core plus Visual Calculus. A black uniform jacket with RCM's signature white rectangle on his right sleeve and backside. Great. And this is, uh, Lieutenant 2 Jafar. Great. What, what, what does this give me? Suggestion minus one half light. Dumb. Big poo poo stupid. Aw, uh, sick, bro. We're going back to no pants. Uh. God ass. I am a rock star after all. Yes. Alright, I have one skill point as well. I don't know what to do with it though. I feel like I want to get rid of one of these things that gets rid of my lot. Mm. Man. <laughs> but I don't want to get rid of some kind of superstar. That's funny. And I like it. Okay, you know what? We're forgetting it. For one point. I have to spend a point to forget one. Sucks so much. But I'm getting the, the, the Fairweather T500. Because <laughs> I'm committing to it. I want that so full uniform. Jeans are perfect for sticking your hand into. Oh, Makes really? you look cool, calm, and collected. As your Sit. hand enters the pocket, your fingers brush against something. Soft, yet crinkly. Take the item out. Hey, it's a chewing gum wrapper. It reminds cool. you of the fruity juice of apricots. You should inspect it closer if you have time. Something oh. about the wrapper's texture is familiar. By the way, the raw materials were most likely exported from Sea Guy. The NERD! Sorry, Encyclopedia, but Jesus Christ, shut up. I'm already... You're already asking me to look into a gum wrapper, and then you're trying to make this more boring for me. There shut up. Again. The scent of apricots with a touch uh -huh. of cinnamon. Smells Delicious. like the end of some distant summer. The surface of another planet, or some ancient temple. Take a deep Bitter, breath. Citrus, sweet. It seems to grow stronger, like a glow, with every breath you take. This was like in the card, right? That my that my wife that my wife sent Whatever me. Whatever petrochemical byproducts they used to create this artificial flavor have bonded tightly to the wrapper, or is that just your memory filling the gaps? Oh. Until a blossom of skin and flower petals erupts behind More your thoughts. closed eyes. Made of toffee, cream, and distance. You just had to take a dive. Okay. Your heart working overtime. Trying to keep up with the panicked synapses firing all over your brain. Moving liters of blood through you. Panicking. Fantastic. You're so, so familiar. Just put it away. Yeah, just put the damn thing away. Apricot chewing gum scented one. <laughs> you have found a trace of entity who's been stalking you across the plains. The gloom stalker. The conglomeration. The shadowy organization behind your downfall. Possibly connected to the dreaded X something. Granted, it is impossible to determine its true identity, but you can remember when you first smelled its treachery. Yes, use the tootie fruity gum wrapper. Reconstruct the day you first breathed in her untrustworthy atoms. We have some things to work out. We have some problems with women, Harry. Please, God, figure your shit out. Well, that's that then. Investigating my car. Yes. Kim, you're you're 100 100 percent certain we, we we couldn't do this without the tie being. Low. I feel like we could have gone into the to the top, to the top, this whole thing. Didn't have to wait around. But, you know, I like the whistling. So, so it's fine. Off we go. But on the next episode, if you enjoyed, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want in the world. Have an amazing day. I'm me. You're you. And I've got to go. So, he's out. <laughs>